Hello, and welcome to Getting Started with the Google Cloud Platform. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the Google Cloud Platform and some of the features it offers. Google is one of the most recognized companies on the internet, and it offers a large number of consumer products. In addition to these products, it also offers the Google Cloud Platform for individuals and corporate customers. While this platform may not be as popular as Amazon, AWS, or Microsoft Azure, it offers a complete cloud platform for all sorts of computing needs. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the product as well as a brief history. So let's go ahead and get started. Google is one of the most innovative companies in the world and are well known for many of their products and their large presence on the internet. Google started by bringing large scale search to the internet and made it extremely useful and very easy to use. After they introduced search, many other products followed and now they're one of the largest tech companies in the world. Now they're offering their services on their platform to individuals and corporations via the Google Cloud Platform. Some of the services are relatively new, but the platform is growing in popularity and new features are being rolled out on a regular basis. Google was founded in 1996 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. As mentioned earlier, Google started with its core product, which is search. Until that time, finding things on the internet was a difficult process. Google made search extremely easy to use and they offered great accuracy and reliability. After the introduction of the search product, other products quickly followed. These products include Google Maps, YouTube, Gmail, the Android operating system, the Chrome browser, and the Chrome operating system. In 2008, the Google App Engine was released and was really the first part of what was to become the Google Cloud Platform. In 2012, Google announced its Cloud Partner Program. In 2014, Google announced Virtual Machine Offering, which has really opened the way for the Google Platform as it exists today. The Google Cloud Platform offers a wide variety of services and competes with platforms such as Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. Some of the services that are offered include compute, storage and database, networking, big data, machine learning, identity and security, and a complete host of management tools. And it also includes some developer tools as well. This list is not a comprehensive list, but a high level list of services that are offered by the platform. As mentioned earlier, new services are being offered on a regular basis. Although Google is one of the largest tech companies in the world, their cloud platform is currently ranked fourth in the market behind Amazon, Microsoft, and IBM. I should note that this market is rapidly changing and highly competitive and these rankings could be subject to change over the next few years as this market evolves. If you look at Google's documentation on their website, you'll note that they have a number of high-profile customers that include Spotify, Coca-Cola, Airbus, and Motorola. As Google begins to gain market share, their list of marquee customers will continue to grow. Google offers a number of certifications around its cloud program. Currently, certifications include Cloud Architect, Data Engineer, and G Suite Administrator. You can get more information about Google certification programs at https cloud.google.com slash certification. The link is also included on the slide as well. In summary, the Google Cloud Platform is built on the same hardware it uses to provide some of the largest services in the world, including Gmail and Google Search. The number of services they are offering is rapidly growing, as well as its adoption by corporate customers. This platform offers a significant opportunity for companies, software developers, and IT operations personnel. As the cloud computing market continues to grow and evolve, Google will be an important part of this market. You can get started with this platform with a free developer account, and I'll show you how to do this in the next video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.